Good morning with Entertainment City, I'm Jeremy John. Today we've got the new trailer for the next Avengers movie, plus J-Lo could be headed to Las Vegas. But we're going to start with a reaction to yesterday's tragedy in Ottawa. Many Canadian stars took to social media to share their thoughts. Actor Jay Baruchel tweeted, terrifying, infuriating, second attack upon a Canadian soldier in Canada in less than a week. My thoughts are with the families of both. Hockey horse George Strombolopoulos tweeted, tragic, rest in peace, Corporal Nathan Cirillo. And singer Jen Arden shared her hopes for Canada, saying, I hope that as a country we never change how open-hearted we are and how we go about our day-to-day -day lives at the Capitol. Hashtag don't let them win. Our Prime Minister tweeted three times about the attack, including very late last night, saying, I have every confidence that Canadians will pull together with the solidarity that has seen our country through many challenges. Now, it's, it's hard to go from that to Jennifer Lopez or anything else, but if you need a distraction, Jennifer Lopez is a pretty good one because she may be taking her show to Vegas. Don't stop, keep it moving, put your drinks up. Just like Celine Dion and Cher and Britney Spears, and of course, well before that, Elvis Presley, Jennifer Lopez may be the next star to take up residence in Las Vegas. TMZ is reporting that the singer and actress is finalizing a deal to perform 72 shows at the Axis Theatre in Planet Hollywood. That's, that's the same place that Britney Spears is currently playing, by the way. Uh, the reports are that the one or possibly two-year deal could pay J. Lo $350,000 a show. Quick math, that works out to just under $26 million for the deal. A rep for Caesars Entertainment said that it could not confirm the deal, and just said that they're always talking to high-level talent. And finally, we have our first look at the new Avengers movie, and it looks good. It's the end. The end of the path I started us on. Nothing lasts forever. Told you it looked good. It's gonna be called Avengers The Age of Ultron. As for the storyline, Ultron's this big scary robot that appears to have been built by Tony Stark, uh, but Ultron is built, built as a peacekeeping project that of course turns evil and tries to destroy the world. And we also get to see uh, Iron Man in his Hulk busting suit. That means that the Hulk goes on a rampage and Iron Man has to stop him. That fight there, that alone, is gonna make that movie awesome. Avengers The Age of Ultron hits theaters May 1st, 2015. That's a first look at your entertainment city on this Thursday morning. Catch the second edition coming up just after 8. And be sure to follow the latest celebrity buzz on Twitter. You can tweet us at Ant City.